Before we continue, I should warn you that if you're the sensitive type, this is a ticklish subject. <laughs> Let's talk about guns. And I'm not talking about these bad boys, I'm talking about real guns. More specifically, licensed firearms and the rules that govern when and where a licensed firearm holder could carry these guns. Can a licensed firearm holder carry the gun into a bar? Or a house lime where there's alcohol being consumed? Can they consume alcohol while they are carrying a firearm? I mean, there must be rules, right? I don't know, boy. Sometimes when you're watching what is already going on, this place is making kind of wonder, you know? On November the 21st, around 2.20 a.m. in the morning, a policeman and a Coast Guard officer shot and killed each other. One newspaper article suggests that the police officer was at a house lime and he, the police officer, would sometimes drop a woman home after liming, as she had concerns about drinking and liming and driving and crime within her neighborhood. On November the 30th, a retired soldier shot and killed two men who attempted to rob a bar in Mova. I know what you're thinking, but stay with me a little bit. Focus! On December the 5th, around 4 a.m. in the morning, a young man shot a young woman at a bar in San Fernando. According to the newspaper article, it was apparently an accident. He was adjusting his clothes and BAM! He was adjusting his clothes and his gun went off. And I know what that is like because I suffer from that problem too. Now, while you may not have sympathy for two bandits being shot dead, you can't help but wonder if the first and last scenarios could have been avoided. And I can't help but wonder if there are laws that govern when and where a licensed firearm holder is allowed to carry a weapon. And this includes off-duty soldiers, police officers, and Coast Guard officers. Can you imagine that the, the bar in San Fernando had to issue a statement saying that firearms aren't allowed on their property and that includes licensed firearms? That sounds like a job for the police service. In Texas and other parts of the world, you can't carry a licensed firearm into a bar. Are there rules like that in Trinidad and Tobago? Are there laws and are these firearm holders, are they aware of them? And I'm not talking about the bad guys here, I'm talking about... The good guys who just want to sit down and lime, they may not even be drinking. But they might be in the company of a jackass who drinking. Can you imagine you're liming in a bar at 4 a.m. in the morning and somebody say, free shots! And you're like, yeah, free shots! And then BAM! And you look down. And it's like, horse. I don't know if this kind of shots you're talking about. Red one. I have a question for you. Do you rather a drunk man bonks you down or a drunk man with a licensed firearm shoot you? If you had to choose one, if you had to choose, if you had to choose, which? Let me know. Red wall news.